Hello and welcome to Bible with Bernie. I'm your host, and today we're going to read Psalm 90. Let's open in a word of prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Psalm 90, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth, and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down, and withereth. We... For we are, verse 7, for we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins, in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Overturn, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thy work appear unto thy servants, and thy glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. Well, praise the Lord. Let's, let's look at verse 12. Look at verse 12 there in Psalm 90. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. You know, we need to be mindful uh, that our time here on earth is short. Amen? Um, we need to work, study, and ponder God's wisdom. Praise the Lord. Uh, thank God for the Bible. Look at verse 10. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. Uh, also it says, therefore it is soon cut off, and we fly away. So, verse 10, we see that typically we'll live to see around 70 years old. Uh, and if we do see 80 or older, it's not without hurtiness, right? I mean, when you get older, sometimes it's hard to get up out of the chair. It's hard to go do anything. Uh, so, labor and sorrow, you know, it's something we have to look forward to as we get older. Um, and without God, it would be terrible. Let's look at verse uh, verse 3. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men. Hey, praise the Lord. If we decide that uh, we will do wickedly, God will set our path on uh, a path of destruction and call us to repent and turn back to him. He's merciful. He wants to make it obvious that serving the devil is not the way to go. Look at verse 15. Verse 15. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil. Praise God. If we serve the Lord and live our lives according to his ways, he will make us glad. Amen. Look at verse 16. In closing here, verse 16, he will uh, let thy work appear unto thy servants 
So verse 16, let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto their children. Hey, we serve God. He will allow us to see and understand his work and allow our children to see his glory and how wonderful he is. Look at verse 17. This is our, in close, our closing verse. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands unto, upon us. Yea, the work of our hands Establish thou it. Praise God. Serve God today. Obey him. Honor him with all thy ways, and he will bless and protect your efforts here on earth. Praise the Lord. Listen, there are plenty of nice people in our lives that are, you know, and they're going to try to persuade you to do things that are not pleasing unto God. And we need to tell them, just as the efforts they make, they're going to make efforts to try to persuade us to serve the devil. We need to make efforts to persuade them to, to, to serve the Lord. And if they'll hear it, perhaps they'll change. If they don't want to hear it, they won't want to hang out no more. Amen? Hey, let's close in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. Father, we ask you to help us understand and apply your word to our lives. Lord, be with those that hear the word today. As we know, by hearing the word, our faith is increased. By hearing the word of God, please increase our faith, Lord, and bless us today, I pray in Jesus' name. Well, that's it for Bible with Bernie. God bless you. Keep on reading the word. Keep on seeking them. Amen.